Am I the a-hole stories? Update, am I the a-hole for sleeping top naked in my bedroom? Original post. My, 18 female, mom and I live in a crummy apartment complex in NYC. Our apartment itself isn't crummy. We've taken a lot of pride in making the inside of our apartment look nicer than it really is, but truth be told, the building is crummy. So much so, that the radiator in my room is broken, and I get heat every day of the year, even in summer. I prefer not to open my windows during summer as well, because all types of questionable creepy crawlies like to come through the window, so I usually sleep on top of the covers or without pants. Last night, it was too hot, so I slept without a shirt or bra. I have pretty huge boots. It's no secret. But I was in the comfort of my bedroom, and I keep my door closed when I sleep. This morning, I woke up to find my mom staring at me. She scared me sitless, especially because I have a loft bed, and was making direct eye contact with her as soon as I opened my eyes. She stood there and screamed at me for 20 minutes, telling me to put a shirt on and calling me a ruthless who for sleeping without a shirt, while her boyfriend was here. I put a pillow in front of my body and closed my eyes to go back to sleep. This wasn't good enough, and she ripped the pillow from my arms and told me to put on some clothes on, before her boyfriend came in here and saw me like this. I told her I keep my door closed for a reason, and if she's worried about her boyfriend bothering me, that's more telling of her boyfriend, not me. She was absolutely seething, and told me I'm to live under her rules while I'm in her house, and that includes not being trashy and sleeping with some clothes on. I figured she was being ridiculous, but her boyfriend heard the commotion and ended up coming into the room to get her without knocking mind you, and left me flailing to find a sheet to cover with. He was kind of eyeing me, and told me my mom was right and I need to sleep with clothes on. I'm having a hard time understanding, am I really an a-hole here? Edit, no, I can't lock my door. She won't allow me to replace the doorknob with one that comes with a lock. For those calling this fake saying I'd die under the conditions I'm describing, and to just get window screens, that doesn't help when the heat outside is so thick and gross. It's just extra hot air. Not to mention unpredictable rainstorms that I have to constantly close the window for anyway. Additionally, I have a phobia of bugs, and the screens don't seem to stop cockroaches and spiders. Thank you to everyone messaging me with helpful tips. It's hard to respond to everyone, but I see and appreciate your help. I'll be purchasing a door stop soon, as well as find time to discuss with my mom what her blow up was about. We have a pretty decent relationship outside of this, which is why this shocked me and had me confused as to whether I was wrong or not. Now for the top comments before the update. Not the a-hole. You have a reasonable expectation of privacy in your room. She and her boyfriend should stay out of it. If she's that worried about him being in your room, maybe the real issue is that she's dating someone she doesn't trust slash who might be a creep. Freaking this, if someone told me to wear a shirt in my room when my door was closed so that their boyfriend didn't see me without it, I'd have a few things to say and none of them would be pleasant. Not the a-hole. Neither your mother or her boyfriend, have any business busting into your room without permission. End of story. Right? People minding their own business would fix this. Alternatively, if they can't be bothered to do that, a lock would fix it as well. To be honest, I'd want one on my door after this if someone was that worried their boyfriend was going to wander into my room, because I'd feel so uncomfortable. Not the a-hole, honestly. Your mom sounds horrible, and I'm worried that your living situation might be dangerous given the boyfriend. As an adult, it might be better for you to look for your own place, or to perhaps move in with a trusted friend. That was my thought too. That likely if your mom is saying it's an issue because of her boyfriend, that means she believes the boyfriend is liable to do something and is projecting the blame onto you. So if something happens, she won't have to deal with him. And now for the update. After the whole debacle. I did purchase a wedge for under my door from Walmart. It worked, and I didn't have any more issues with waking up to people in my face. I used the excuse that it was to keep our cat from opening my door at night, and my mom seemed fine with that. While Ed was here, and even after he was gone my mom seemed detached, and sort of out of it. I asked if everything was okay, and she said she needed to sort out some feelings first but she promised we'd talk when she was better. I said okay and left it at that. Couple days later. Ed came back for another weekend stay. The day after he came, they had an at-home date night with drinks and fancy takeout, and that night I woke up to my door being messed with. I call out to see if it's my mom, and got no response. I pulled on a t-shirt and shorts and pulled the door wedge out to check, and Ed is standing at my door. He was drunk, 
and I was a bit panicked because I thought something had happened to my mom and he needed help, but he just stood there for a few seconds without saying anything. He didn't seem to be sleepwalking or in peril, so I said I'm uncomfortable, I'm closing my door. Before I could close the door all the way, my mom flew out her room, saw him, and started cussing and screaming, and telling him he needed to leave. They argued back and forth for a while, but eventually she got him out the door. After calming her down, I took her to her room and we had a talk. It turns out, the day she had come into my room, she had been on his phone and saw he was talking to his brother-in-law about me, in very disgusting ways, talking about how I was growing up to be very shapely and mature, and that he couldn't wait until I moved out, so he could dump my mother for me. He said far more explicit things that were all extremely worrying, especially since we've known him since I was 11. My mom had come to tell me to be careful around him while she thought of a way to break it off safely, but when she saw my state she had some misplaced anger. He's out of our lives now, thankfully. Now for the next story. Am I the a-hole for deciding to move to my dad because my mom let her boyfriend and his kids live with us? My mom and dad divorced about 10 years ago when I was 6, I am 16 female now, and my mom remarried and divorced once before and my dad has had several long-time girlfriends. I have been close with both of them, but ever since my mom moved to another town, I have primarily lived with her, and spend long weekends and vacations with and at my dad. Now my mom met a new guy about a year ago, and ever since, he has been over to our house a lot, which is fine, but I do not like him much. He is very bossy and often takes his kids with him, who I am expected to entertain while they do whatever. That is my main issue, I despise his kids. They are 15 male, 13 male and 10 male. The 15 year old takes after his dad and tries to order me around, the 13 year old behaves like an 8 year old and has frequent temper tantrums, and the 10 year old has a weird crush on me, and I have caught him trying to peek into the bathroom, and sneak into my room when I am there 3 times. I told my mom all of this, and she told her boyfriend and he claims to have talked to them, but nothing has changed. Now last week, my mom said they were moving in with us, I told her I was not comfortable with that and she got mad, and said I am too old to act like a jealous kid, I told her I am not jealous, I just dislike her boyfriend, and really dislike his kids who live with him 5 days a week. She essentially told me to stop complaining, and they moved in the next day. Well, I called my dad the day they moved in and he came to pick me up the day after, I only informed my mom after I had left as she was at work, and I had been living with him and his girlfriend ever since. Meanwhile, my mom has been beyond herself, she has begged me to come back, apologized profusely, calls me 10 times a day, offered to kick her boyfriend out and has even tried to threaten my dad to take me back. I got to be honest, I feel really bad, ever since like 4 years ago, it's been me and her all the time, and she probably feels horrible. However, my dad has been great, his girlfriend is really nice and I just feel really at home, which I haven't felt ever since my mom's boyfriend came in the picture. Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole, your mom didn't care enough to consult you before changing your living situation, and you had very good reasons to not want to interact with her boyfriend's kids, and put up with their inappropriate behavior, you have no reason to take her opinion into account to do the same thing. I still feel bad though, now she has to deal with them on her own. Not the a-hole. If you're happy where you are now, stay there. Meet with your mother and explain why you felt the need to move out and let her know you still love her and you want to spend time with her, minus the boyfriend. It's not wrong to do what's best for yourself. I am not sure, I think it is best I do not go to her for the time being. When you are ready to spend time with her, don't be afraid to lay down ground rules. Even if that means only meeting her alone or only in a public place. Don't feel rushed to meet her either. I have also been realizing a lot now that I moved in with my dad. They were literally using me as a babysitter for these three little freaks, to go out and have fun, pisses me off. Not the a-hole. Seriously, the little weirdo that keeps trying to peek at you would have been reason enough. Their behavior didn't change when you confronted her about it, and a lot of his kids' behavior was concerning on their own before that. You weren't even consulted on the idea that they would move in, where things like boundaries, privacy, ground rules, etc., should have been set in. Honestly, it sounds like you're better off with your dad. You're not living in a crowded house, and if she wants her boyfriend so badly, she can have him. I don't think even if proper ground rules had been put down, I would have stayed. There is no way I want to live with the gross little pervs that keeps peeping, and the weirdo that keeps having temper tantrums. Now for the next story. 
Am I the a-hole for moving out because my mom is pregnant? I, 16 female, live with my mom, 38, and her boyfriend, 30. My parents split up when I was 6. They don't have a formal agreements over me and never needed it. My dad, 39, used to travel a lot because of work, so it was logical that I had to stay with my mom, my father pay all my expenses. My father remarried 5 years ago, his wife is amazing and I love her dearly, I see her as my second mom. My mom's boyfriend moved in last year, they have been dating for 2 years, and our relationship is pretty bad. He is extremely homophobic, don't hold a job for more than 2 months, and never helps with cleaning. 6 months ago, he started to be desperate to have a child, and my mom was dragged into that. When she told me, I was completely against it, our house is minuscule and only have 2 bedrooms. He pushed the situation and threatened to leave her, and she agreed. Last month on my birthday, she gave me the great news, she was pregnant. I was obviously not happy, and told her that this was a huge mistake. Friday, my mom asked me to take my clothes out of my drawer, because the crib have to be set up. The thing is, I don't want to divide a room with a newborn. I called my father and my stepmom, and they are more than happy with me being full time at their house. I told my mom, and she flipped out. She called me egoist, and told me she will not be able to maintain the house without my father's support. I feel a little bit bad, but I don't want to lose my sleep. The next two years are extremely important for me to get to college, and that's not the environment I am seeking. So Reddit, am I the a-hole? Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. It sounds like your mother shouldn't be with this man to begin with, and if she needs your father's money to support her home, then she needs to look deeper. Moving in with your father sounds like the best thing for you. Exactly. Mother doesn't seem concerned that her daughter is leaving, but worries she won't have the money to raise her other child, seeing that she is in a toxic relationship with a deadbeat. Not the a-hole. Child support payments are for the child. Yes, they go to pay for housing, utilities, and food, but it's to support the kid. If she doesn't make enough money to support herself without that money, she should not be having an infant. On top of that, it's not your responsibility to ensure your mom can look after herself and make responsible choices. Your mom probably realizes she's gotten herself stuck, and is taking her fear and anxiety out on you with her anger. Move in with your dad, enjoy your teen years try and keep a relationship with your mom and new sibling. At the end of the day though, your mom and that child are not your responsibility. Yeah, theoretically the child support money gets paid to mom so that mom can afford a house with enough bedrooms for the child, while still being able to use her own money for her own needs. If the money pays for OP to have her own bedroom, it should be her own bedroom. Not split with an infant. Not the a-hole, if she can't afford another child without your father paying for it, then she shouldn't have gotten pregnant. Also, it sounds like your father and stepmom would provide a great, stable, happy home for you to flourish in. This, your father shouldn't be paying for this new child. Now for the last story. Am I the a-hole for leaving my mom, her boyfriend and three sisters? I recently left the house a few days ago. I was woken up at 1 p.m. with a hit on my head by my one-year-old sister and her plastic toy. I had just stayed up until 4 a.m. feeding my newborn sister, because my mom couldn't. My mom just had a c-section, so she couldn't move or walk for a long time so she is often on a chair. A few hours later, she and I were arguing about groceries, she spent $300 on just meat two weeks ago, so the previous week, I spent $100 on snacks and household essentials like soap slash shampoo and laundry detergent, she wanted me to list everything I bought and was yelling at me when I couldn't remember, and I went to my room in the middle of the argument, because I was sick of the fighting. She told me to come downstairs and continued yelling stuff like, don't make me go up there. And I knew she couldn't so I just stayed in my room crying. My dad called me and I explained the situation to him, he said if I didn't like her rules, then leave. Then my 16 year old sister texted me, mom said to leave the house, so I packed. A friend picked me up and I walked out with necessities, and as I walked out, my mom said, never come back. My friend dropped me off to my best friend's house, and at that point, I had cried for like 3 hours straight. That was all 3 days ago. 2 days ago, my 16 year old sister, who was pregnant and almost due, texted me that I needed to come home to watch my one-year-old and newborn sisters for two hours, so that she can go grocery shopping with my mom's boyfriend, one-year-old and newborn's dad, who is just recently unemployed, but he's a nice guy, and I told her I wasn't coming back, 
because my mom told me not to. My one-year-old sister had choked on her food yesterday, because I didn't go home to watch her while my mom was with the newborn. Then my dad told me to drop my pride and go home, just because she's my mom. This has nothing to do with pride, both my mom and dad told me to leave the house knowing she needed me. My parents had always told us kids, that if we don't like living under their roof, then leave, we didn't have a reason and were too scared to do it. They must have been shocked when the only child of theirs who grew up without causing any trouble in school, or getting knocked up, or getting bad grades, and always helping them and putting up with their toxic ways, left. I wanted to help, but my mom is very lazy, I often have to do everything around the house while watching my sisters. I'm only 18, my mom won't even take me to the DMV for my permit or license, even though she did it for my brother, the eldest child, he's living with my dad. I'm under constant stress because of my mom, and nothing ever satisfies her. I am currently staying at my best friend's house, and with my new free time, I can finally go around and apply for jobs and make something of myself. I feel sad, but I've been resenting my mom for a few years now, but I always needed to obey her, just because she was simply my mom and I couldn't take it anymore. Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. Don't light yourself on fire to keep others warm. If staying with them causes you constant stress and prevents you from achieving what you want in life, then you are in no way the a-hole for leaving. I love that analogy. Thank you. CPS, why is your dad telling you to deal with all this? If your mom wants to have a zillion kids she can't take care of, it's not your problem. Not the a-hole. Get out of that sit show. I can't call CPS, because I don't want my siblings to grow up without their parents. My mom is a little bit screw loose but she's not all bad. She doesn't hit us or anything, but she's one to cause a lot of arguments. As for my dad, he might be afraid that my mom could be incapable of caring for her kids due to her temper and that I might be the solution, but I'm not. Not the a-hole, good job not caving when they tried to guilt you back, it's hard. I'm the most sensitive person in the family, I feel like they tried to use my emotions to get me back, and it honestly almost worked. So I bought Christmas gifts for my two baby sisters and I just want to give it to them, but I can't do that without facing my mom. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.